welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel thank you to all of my subscribers okay so if you are new to the channel you are welcome and if you have not subscribed please subscribe okay guys so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut two types of princess that top so someone actually requested this for this tutorial so i just decided to show the two different ones so it will be easy for you to understand this pattern so that's what we're going to learn how to do today so the first um princess that i'm going to cut i'm going to show you guys how to cut the classic one so when we say cl a classic princess that these are the princess that patterns that i use for all of these already made dresses like all these your turkey dresses your u.s dresses all those clothes uh -huh. i know you understand what i'm saying so that's what we're going that's the first one we're going to cut so let's just get started so these are the fabrics i'm going to make use of so for the classic one i'm going to cut the back and the front together so i just cut both of them together so the first thing that i'm going to do now i'm going to add my lines to this pattern that's to this pattern so i'm going to mark a straight line so i just said to like use a fabric to to do the pattern okay the next thing i'm going to add i'm going to add the bust point so when these are mainly for the made dresses so for the bust point i'm going to use 10 inches this is 10 inches and then the under bust is 13 inches and then the half cut which is the half is 18 inches so these are like the standard lines that i'm using for this okay so i'll just connect just through those lines out straight So I've put those lines out. The next thing now we're going to start imputing our measurement. So the measurement that I'm going to be using as I'm going along, I'll just be calling them so it will be easy for you. So the first measurement we're going to use on this first line is our shoulder measurement. So the shoulder measurement that I'm going to make use of for this pattern is 13 inches. So that 13 inches, what I'm going to do, I'll divide 13 into two. I'm going to have 6.5. So I'll add 6.5 and then just add about half of an inch for my allowance you can add one inch that's still fine and okay so from this point i'm just going to come down by one inch like this and then when i mark that one inch i'm going to just float that one inch into this shoulder line area and then from this point i'm going to mark my arm hole which is 16 i'll divide 16 into two i have eight so I'll mark the 8 inches like this and then I'll connect this with a straight line like this, okay? After connecting it with this line with a straight line, the next thing, I'm going to add my armhole. That's the round part of my armhole. So I'm just going to take my pattern curve like this. I'll place it in and then I'll mark. I'll just connect it. I'll connect it like this. If you notice, I came into this part with about a quarter of an inch into the armhole so the next thing now we're going to take out the darts okay so to take out the darts you i'll use half of my bust palm measurement which is eight i'll divide that eight into two so when i divide that eight into two i'm going to have four inches and then i'll add half of an inch to it so i'll, I'll mark 4.5 on this bust point line and then on this under bust line okay so by the way, this 8 inches that we use for our armhole, you can mark that as your chest line, as your chest line. So this will help as guide, okay? So, but that, that, don't take it to this point. So I'll just mark it on the bust point line and then the under bust point and then on the waist line also. After marking them, I'm going to connect them like this. It is straight ruler. So I'll, I'll just connect it. And then this classic one, what I'm going to do, I really don't need to come up as in, I will do, we'll do that for the next one. So the next thing I'm going to do now from this point, I'm going to mark, check half of my armhole measurements, okay? So to check half of my armhole, I'll use half of what I have here like this. So I have about 8 inches, so I'll just mark half inch here like this so after marking that half inch here's what i'm going to do i'm i'm trying to connect it to this point so in connecting it i'm going to use a pattern curve so if you notice this 
these cups, they are not really very round. I don't know if I will say. So I'll just use a cup like this. If you don't have a curve, you can use your hand or just look for something so you can see the curve. So the next thing I'm going to do from this point, I'm going to extend this. So I'll extend it with about one inch. Why I'm doing this, why you are extending it is because when you cut, you don't want it to get truncated, okay? You will lose some inches, so it might affect it. So the next thing, I'm going to take out a dart from this top part. So it depends on how many inches that mostly for this classic one is usually like one inch that okay so i'll place my tape like this and then i'll mark one inch here when i mark one inch here like this i'll extend it up to that same one inch and then that one inch now as i'm coming if you notice as i'm coming i'll just be like blending it into those points like this so now I'm going to take this. So when I take this one inch out, this will help me to like tighten this part so you can see. So it, it gives you that curve, okay? So this is for the classic one. And then I'll mark it like this and then I'll come back and then add a new arm hole line into my piece. So you need to do this or else it will get truncated. It will, it will not be equal. So there's something that I still use, use to check on this chest part because if not, if you don't check this at times, the chest part, it, will be, it might be too wide. So most times I usually check also and then I can decide to do a little bit of tightening here. So in doing that, I can just come here and just take out like half of an inch and then just that half of an inch now, I'll just like blend that now like this into this part. So this will help to make that chest area not to be too tight. So I hope you understand what I'm doing. So the next thing, I we're going to take out our full body measurement. So the bust measurement that we're going to, to use for this piece now is 35 inches. So that 35, I'll divide it into four like this. And then I'm going to place it here like this. And then I'll mark, I'll mark it. And then I'll add my stitching allowance so i'll add about three inches stitching allowance why i'm doing that is because of any this little bit of excess here so because if you don't add that into it it's it will still affect it so i'll add that three inches there and then i'll come to the under bust line i'll mark my under bust line that i'm using i'll use 30 inches so i'll divide it into four i'm going to have 7.5 i'll mark the 7.5 here and then when I cut, so I'm still going to lose a little bit of inch, but it's negligible. I'll put that back into through my dart. So from this point also, I'll add my three inches also for my stitching allowance. So that same inch, I'll come to my... Okay, okay, okay. So you see this, this line is actually my bust line. So from the chest line, the same thing that I marked here, that's what I'll mark here. So I'll mark it. So I'm sorry about that. I'll mark the same thing that I mark for my bust line. You know, I, I placed my bust line here. That is the bust measurement. After dividing it into four, I placed it here. So this is my bust line. That you place it on the arm bowl and then place it on the bust point line also. So this is my under bust. So this measurement that I measured now is my under bust measurement. So that's where I'll place it. So I hope you understand. I just had to correct that, okay? And then the next measurement that I'm going to mark is my waist measurement. So my waist measurement is 32. You divide that into four. I'm going to add eight inches. And then I will add the same three inches that I was using. I'll add it as my allowance. So all of these lines now, I'm just going to connect them together like this. So you can see how simple and easy this is. So the next thing now, I'm going to cut this. So guys, you can see how our pattern looks like. So you can see this is a classic princess that pattern. So this is the first one. 
So the next pattern I'm going to cut now, I'm going to cut out the bustier one. So these ones are the ones that we majorly use to make all of our, these are our Ankara dresses. They usually don't really use this one for already made dresses. So I'm going to fold my fabric and then I'll show you how to cut it. So guys, we're going to cut out the second one. So the second princess that pattern we're cutting is the bustier princess that pattern. So like I said, this is the one that is commonly used. So we're going to use the same measurement of the, for the shoulder, which is 7, 13. I'll divide that into two. I'll mark it like this and then I'll add half of an inch for my stitching allowance. So from this point, I'm going to come down by one inch. And that one inch, I'll connect it into the, the neckline area like this. And then from this point, I'm going to mark half of my armhole measurement, which is 8 inches. So I'll mark the 8 inches. I'll connect it with a straight ruler like this. And then I'll take it this way. So this will serve as my chest line. Is optional though. So the next thing now, I'm going to mark my round sleeve measurement. That's my round. And guys, I'm going to mark my armhole curve. So I'll take my pattern curve like this. So I'll come into this point by quarter of an inch, and then I'm just going to just give it a nice, beautiful curve like this. You can see it is okay. So the next thing, we're going to add all of our measurements, our boss pan measurements. So I'm using the same bust pan measurement of eight inches i'll divide that into two i have four and then i'll add half of an inch to it so i'll just mark it that way so i'll come to my bust point line i'll mark it on it also and then i'll come to my under bust line i'll mark it on it also and then i'll come to the waist measurement i'll mark it also so the chest, the one on the chest line, I'm not going to connect it. I just want it as a guide. So I'll leave it, but I'll connect this under this three, which is the bust point on the under bust and then the waist point. I'll connect them. So after doing that, I'm going to come to my armhole like this. So I'll just measure, check half of what I have there. So when I check half of what I have there, I'm going to mark it here like this. I'll come to that point, I'll mark it. Okay, so I've marked it. After marking it, the next thing, this point that I marked, I'm going to extend it by one inch upward. So I'll just extend like that. After extending like that, it still did not meet this. I'm using it as a guide, like I said. So from this point now, I'm going to, I'm going to create a curve though. So creating a curve from that point, I'll use my curve. I'm looking for the best fit, okay? Yeah. So now from that point, that half of armhole, I'm going to create a point. So you can see the way I'm placing my pattern curve. So I'm placing it now. That line that I extended, that's where it will go to, okay? So you can see what I'm doing. So I'll connect it like that so you can see how it has blended with the line. After marking that, I'm going to take out the darts now. So for the darts, I'm going to take out two inches for my darts, okay? So that two inches that I'm going to take out for my dart, I'm going to come to this point. I'll place the two inches and then I'll add half of an inch to it. That's 2.5 inches, okay? I'll mark it this way. So from that point that I mark that 2.5 inches, I'm going to take my pattern curve. Remember this point. So I'm going to take this point, this our armhole, uh, sorry, our bust point line. I'm going to take, see my dart point. I'm going to connect it. I'll use this a, a, a good a pattern curve like this. Okay, remember that line. You understand that line? You know we extended from this point by one inch. Uh -huh. So that will help you as guide. So you place your pattern curve that way. So to help you navigate a beautiful curve, okay? So from that point like that, you are just going to rule it and connect it 
to that point. So when you connect it now, you are going to blend this like this now. So you blend it in so you can see this beautiful curve that we have. So I'm just trying as much to explain it so that you guys will understand how this is done. You see how, you see the beautiful curve that it has already. So from this point, I'm going to extend this now. Because this is a bust here, I'm going to extend it by one inch and quarter. A little bit longer than the first one. And then from this point, I'm going to connect a new armhole. Okay. So I'll connect it that way. I'll connect it. So you can see my bust here is nicely formed here. So the next thing now we're going to take out this. So this dart line, I'm going to extend it to the down. So in extending it, the down part, I'm not going to use two and then two is two and a half. I'll use two inches. I'll mark it like this and then I will connect this with my ruler. Like this. So the next thing after this, I'm going to take out my full body measurement. So I'll come to my bust line. I'll use 36. So I'll divide 36 into four. I'm going to have nine inches. So I'll mark that nine inches here like this. And then I'm going to add allowance to it. Okay. I'll add about three inches allowance, which is appropriate. I'll mark it here. And then on the that part, I'm going to come to this part. That's for the under bust area. So my under bust measurement, I'm using 30. So I'll divide 30 into 4. I'm going to have 7.5. So I'll mark my 7.5. And remember, we took out 2.5 inches for our dart. So that 2.5 inches, okay, before I continue, this 2.5 inches for this dart is for a bust of like 30. If In, in case you want your, your curve to be big. If you want it to be big, if you are a bust 36 like I, I am using, you can use 2 inches. Or if you want a very prominent curve, you can use 2.5. But from bust 38 above, use 2.5 inches. And then below 36, use 2 inches. Okay, so I hope that's clear. So I'll mark, I'll add my 2.5 inches back. And then I'll add my stitching allowance i'll mark that so from that point like that i'm going to connect this and then the next measurement i'm going to add is my waist measurement which is 32 i'll divide that into four i'm going to have eight inches and then i'll add my two inches back these two inches you know the down part i took out two inches and then i'll add my stitching allowance back into the piece and then I will connect it like this. So at the end of the day, I've extended that. I'm going to cut this out. So at the end of the day, you can see how this looks like. So these are the two types of princess that bustier pattern that are easily used. So these patterns, you can actually achieve them in other ways that are different from this. There is one that you take out your dart from two sides instead of one side. So thank you so much. I've now come to the end of this tutorial. If you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.